you folks, Darren from DNL. Got a little bit of a different unit to show you today. It's not a camper van, but it's kind of cool. So we're going to call this one the COVID camper, and here's why. Um, when COVID shut us down, um, my guys still wanted to work. They were working from home, and one of the guys couldn't bring a van home. So I bought this for him to work on, and it needed a complete rebuild. The wood, wood was rotted out, but it was a cool camper. So he rebuilt this while he was home for a couple weeks. We were keeping them, people safe and keeping them distance. And then it kind of evolved to what you see here. So what it ended up being is um, I couldn't decide when we rebuilt this what to make it look like as far as uh, white, black, or whatever, because it's a motorcycle camper. It's been made to tow behind a motorcycle. And most folks want something that matches their motorcycle or something that looks cool. So we decided to go with uh, with the copper and the brass that you see here. Um, some friends of ours, Steve Anderson from uh, Anderson's Metal Sculpture, Troy and Chad, the guys, um, I got a hold of them and they said, yeah, we can do beat up copper and brass. So we took, went up to their shop and they made custom made all the panels thing um, just to make kind of a cool make a standout rolling work of art I think uh, these guys are incredibly talented they've, they've been making uh, stuff out of metal since I was literally this high um, so I appreciate those guys being able to make this for me and uh, then we put it together so take a look around in a minute um, all the copper was hand beat and hand rolled along with the brass we found a, a vintage cooler to put up front. Everything's been painted, all brand new wiring, brand new tires, all new LED lights. The back panel, they actually torched to give it a little bit different color as well. Just kind of turned out really cool. So this would look good behind any motorcycle that you drive or any little car. It looks good behind Sarge, but I'm not keeping it. <laughs> All three quarter plywood, very heavy duty for a little candle like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set it up. We'll do a time-lapse video of getting it set it up, getting it set up. And then, uh, then we'll take a look at the inside. Be surprised how big this thing gets. So. Ta -da! It's just that easy. So that's what it takes to put it up. We'll give you a quick lap around the outside. It's actually very roomy inside. It's, it's uh, You can sleep. This is the bedroom area over here. The middle part is the dinette. And that would be your living area dance hall on the left hand side. You can fit a double, double bed uh, air mattress in this area. You can actually sleep two in the floor if you need a bigger queen size area. You can put a, a big double uh, air mattress on the floor inside there if you want to sleep on that too. So you could sleep four if you wanted to. It does have screens on all the windows. The windows uh, have zippers that open up as well. Better than laying on the ground, ain't it? Mm hmm. So, air mattress goes in here, dining room table. This is all brand new finished wood. They stained that, it looks really cool. All new wood floor, all new flooring inside. This flooring's been stained. Um, we're we're going to redo the cushions, but they were so nice that we just kept the original cushions in here. 
plenty of room to stand up. I'm six foot, so this would be a good, you know, your changing area. TV, wet bar over here, you know, lazy boy here. So it's really very versatile. <laughs> so yeah, that's it. That's kind of the quick tour. Uh, this is going to go on eBay. We're going to put this on eBay, sell to the highest bidder, um, probably in about a week or so. Um, but wanted to get the video out for it so we can kind of show it off first. So thanks to all my guys. Thanks for Gideon who built this thing and, and Anderson's metal sculptor who did the, the outside, which is beautiful. Zach, cameraman, that's about all you did on this, ain't it? Yeah. Yeah, you didn't do much. So um, we got great guys at work here and just, just glad that they're able to be versatile with us and help us all through this COVID thing as well. So uh, thanks for looking at it and talk to you later. I'm out.